is a public holiday in Lebanon for the Feast of St. Marin, a 4th century Syriac hermit monk who founded the spiritual movement that grew into the Maronite Church, which is in full communion with the Holy See. Father Mitch Pacwa dedicated today's EWTN Mass to St. Marin, who was known as a great mystic, miracle worker, and missionary. His holiness attracted many followers, especially in Lebanon, which to this day has the largest percentage of Christians in the Middle East. And join me now to discuss the life and legacy of this great saint is Bishop Gregory John Mansour of the Maronite Aparchy of St. Marin of Brooklyn. Your Excellency, wonderful to see you. Thank you so much for your time today. Um, Thank what, you, Tracy. What can you tell us about the life of St. Marin, uh, what he means to the people of Lebanon, and, and also why he's usually depicted wearing a black hood? Yes, the black hood I also wear, all of the bishops wear, because we come from the monks. And the Maronite Church was a monastic movement that became a church. It had no desire, perhaps, at the beginning to become a church, but it was the, these evangelical monks following St. Maron, who was a priest and a hermit, who desired to be close to God and close to people. And he had such... Uh, a fascinating, such a simple life, completely devoted to God, as we know. Um, as we get closer to Lent, uh, what do you think he can teach us about centering our spiritual life? Well, his whole his whole life was, he was what's called an open-air hermit. So, number one, he was open to God and the nature. And number two, he's open to people. And that openness to God and openness to people without any barriers was his asceticism. And that can really teach us something in Lent that the more we are open to God and open to people, the more we can spread God's good news and God's love for us. Yeah, that's a wonderful message. Uh, I know that you've described him as a great unifier. Uh, what can we learn from his spiritual example, especially you know, during this tumultuous time that we're seeing in Lebanon? Yeah, you know, Tracy, because because he was such an open person, open to God and open to others, he helped his his uh, his heritage, the Maronite people of, of Lebanon and Syria, helped to form modern-day Lebanon, which was not a Christian enclave, but a Christian Muslim conviviality. So 100 years ago, our patriarch and the Sunni Mufti and different Shiite and, and Druze representatives of their people wanted something called Lebanon to be an inclusive haven for the different religious communities. And that's really to the spirit of St. Mary. Yeah, and that's so interesting because that's something I think a lot of people probably don't know. Um, I'm wondering how St. Mary, if you could talk about this, how he inspires you and also your leadership at the Aparchy that bears his name. Well, I try to be a little bit more like a hermit. That is, think and go deep within myself before making a lot of decisions. And I try to really be open to God and open to other people. In that sense, it helps me to, to realize that, that my forebearer, my, the father of the Maronite Church, had the same spirituality. That is so wonderful. And is there anything about St. Maron um, that you think is really important for people to know? Yes, I think he was a priest, and a priest is not ordained to be by himself, but he must have felt priests and people were becoming, taking things for granted. So that's why he moved out into the, into the highlands of Syria and began as a, as a hermit with a ministry, a ministry to people, and so that we don't take our Christian faith for granted. That is so wonderful. And thank you so much, Bishop Gregory, for taking the time to speak with us today. Uh, we really appreciate it. God bless you. Thank you, Tracy.